Hey you guys, so festival season is right around the corner and in today's video I want to show you how to look like one of the cool kids with a bomb new hair color featuring splat. I filmed a tutorial on how to get this super vibrant pretty cobalt blue color using splat's color blue envy as you will see here. I really wanted to try this color because I thought it would accentuate my blue eyes really nicely and I think it does a really good job of that. I am so happy with the outcome. This color is so amazing. It provided great color coverage as you guys can see. Um, I'll insert a before picture of what my hair looked like. You probably have already seen it in the thumbnail but here I am here in case you missed it. So quite a difference. Splat's line is carried at Walmart stores, so really easily accessible to most of you guys, and they have a wide color range, so if the blue is not for you, chances are there's going to be something that catches your eye. Especially going into festival season, I know bright hair and vivid hair color is really on trend, and I wanted to show you guys how I got this look at home. And P.S. If you want a tutorial on this makeup look, I will also link that down below for you guys. So if you guys would like to see how I got this really cool cobalt blue color, Please keep watching. All right, you guys, we are starting off with the pink still, and what we need to do is try to get this faded down as much as possible before we put the blue on top to get the most vivid end result. So I'm going to be using the Splat Hair Color Remover to help me do this. And as you can see on the very back, it doesn't necessarily bring you to your original light blonde, but it will fade you quite a bit which is great. So you're going to need to apply gloves and then apply this product. I just did it slowly and in sections starting from the bottom up, which is the way I apply my hair color as well. Um, and just work kind of slowly with this and make sure I apply it really evenly so I get a more even result. And it was pretty easy to use. I did use two boxes to cover my whole head just for reference. And once you've saturated your whole head, you put on a little processing cap and you process up to one hour, rinse, shampoo, condition, and you are good to go. I went through this process twice. The picture on the left is after one use and the picture on the right is after two. So I was able to fade it quite a bit. So before we get into color, make sure you protect your clothing. I'm just using a robe. You can use an old t-shirt or a towel, whatever you would like. And I'm also going to be applying some petroleum jelly to my hairline, my ears, my neck, everywhere to protect from staining. Make sure you use your gloves, shake your color well, and then I apply the same way that I did the color remover, slowly in sections starting from the bottom up. Whatever you like to do, whatever makes you feel more comfortable is fine. Uh, this has just been my technique, you know what I mean? I'm paying close attention to the hairline because I want to make sure I get all of the little pink patches saturated. I want the end result to be really nice and even. So I'm just really working the color through from root to tip to make sure that that is going to be my end result. Since I'm just using the bottle to apply uh, the color, I did just use the little tip of the bottle to kind of paint the color on my hairline. And I found that that worked really nicely. And now I'm just taking what's left of my color and just applying it to my hair to make sure it's extra saturated. I'm clipping it up and I'm going to let it process for about an hour. And now that I'm rinsed, shampooed, conditioned, I'm going to blow dry my hair and see the end result. I'm so, so excited about this color. Look at how vibrant it is. And since we have plans, I'm going to throw some loose waves in this hair, give it some texture, and then complete my makeup look. I will have the tutorial linked down below for you guys if you're interested. 
right, you guys. So this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. I am really obsessed with this color. It turned out so vivid, so bright, and really, really even, which is impressive to me. It feels nice and soft and healthy. There was no damage whatsoever during this whole process. My hair still feels great. So as I said before, I will have the products linked down below if you guys are interested in purchasing them online. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I hope you have an awesome festival season. Bye.